Hello, my friends. My name is Lucia. I was always wondering, are we living in an extroverted world? We really appreciate collaboration, communication, and teamwork. But me, known as an introvert, a quiet person during my life, I was always wondering: Do I need to change my character to network more to chase my dream? And do we introverted people have some natural tendencies and advantages to shine in the world? I will tell my story first. Growing up, I was always known as the quiet one. I preferred to study hard and keep to myself. Which often resulted in my parents and relatives urging me to change my character, so that I could fit more to the rest of the world. Let me know if you are the same. During primary school to high school, this is not a very good thing. Despite my introverted tendencies, I'm always a passionate, brave, and ambitious person. Those are not conflict. But I still struggled with the belief from the society that my introversion was holding back me from achieving my dreams and goals. For many years, I feel so uncomfortable with my personality. My biggest goal is to become an extrovert. Yeah, that's my first approach. I enrolled in business school, hoping to better fit the society, and started participating in more student activities and hanging out with my classmates more. However, this turned out to be a bad decision. I started feeling less smart in the world, and it doesn't make me fit any better. After graduation, the challenges began in the workplace where people build professional relationships, which takes me so much energy. It is definitely not my characteristic. I feel myself less smart, but the environment always told me like it is important to keep a huge social interaction and do networking. Most of the time, I don't really enjoy the social situation. Well, I wanna say I'm fine with the communications with a clear aim, but not like networking for networking, interaction for interaction. The others are more like chores and tasks. And during that time, I was always trying to be active, polite, and helpful. I used to think that changing my introverted nature was the only way to succeed in life. It feels like everybody is telling me to be someone else, so that you can fit in better to the world. After many years fighting with my introversion, I reached the turning point. Changing who I am is not that simple. Just like fish cannot climb trees, my introverted tendencies cannot simply be changed on a whim. Like Oscar told, "Be yourself. Everyone else is already taken." There is also scientific evidence suggests that introversion is at least partially impacted by biology. One important line of research has focused on the differences in brain activity between introverts and extroverts. Brain imaging techniques such as fMRI has shown that introverts and extroverts have different patterns of brain activity in response to stimuli. For example, introverts tend to have higher levels of activity in the prefrontal cortex, which is associated with introspection, planning, and problem solving. While actual tend to have higher level of activity in the amygdala, which is associated with processing external stimulus and responding to reward. Twin studies, a common method used to investigate the role of genetics in various traits and disorders, compared the similarities and differences in particular traits between identical twins who share 100% of genes and fraternal twins who share about 50% of their genes. The twin studies have shown that the genetic factors can account for up to 50% of the variability in introversion. So let's see, there is a significant biological component of this trait, and because of those, I started to be more serious and more respectful to my introversion traits. It took me quite a long time to truly accept and respect my introverted nature. After all, I spent over a decade in the wrong major career and relationship approach. And all of the time in social orientation and education, being introvert is like a weakness or a blame. These experiences also give me strong intention to speak it out. Let's talk about the definition. Introversion is not about shy or weak, let alone a weakness. It is about we can thrive more in a quiet and low-key environment where we can be the deep-thinking, productive, and creative one. This is also why I made this video.
to share my experience and encourage others to encourage you to embrace the personality. We don't need to be frustrated or try to be modify ourselves to fit in. Instead, we need to realize and optimize our strengths, choosing the right environment to maximize our creativity and talents. So let's be more serious and respectful about who we are, whether introverts or otherwise. Introverts are not rare. A third to a half of the population is introvert. Introverts are just as excellent as they were. Introverts are often underrepresented in many areas of society. It's not uncommon to feel the pressure to act like a fake extroverted person to fit in. Yeah, that is me previously. Well, actually being introverted or extroverted are all gifts. For example, for introverted person, our need for solitude allowed us to engage in more deep thought and tap into our creative. That's why it's important to embrace our introverted tendencies and recognize the unique strengths and qualities come with them. Throughout history, monks and other individuals have sought solitude as a means of deepening their spiritual and philosophical insights. This practice has its roots in many different religious and cultural traditions, from Christianity to Buddhism to ancient Greek philosophy, which involves spending the time in quiet reflection, often in isolation, to gain greater spiritual clarity, inner peace, and wisdom. Famous early Christian monks in Egypt spent years in complete isolation, fasting and praying to gain a deeper understanding of God and the nature of existence. Buddhism, the practice of meditation, is central to the pursuit of enlightenment. Monks and lay practitioners alike spent long hours in meditation, often in solitude, as a means of quieting the mind and gaining insight into the true nature of reality. In ancient Greek philosophy, the philosophers advocated for a life of simple pleasures and contemplation. They believed that the true thoughts of happiness and wisdom was found in the quiet contemplation and reflection. As we said, being introvert doesn't mean we cannot be ambitious. In fact, there are several ways that the introvert in nature helped me to achieve the goals. For one, it is easier to explore my passions through self-reflection and deep thought as an introvert, especially when I have the time and space to myself. Also, it's easier for introvert to stick to it and perform deep and focused work. We can try to carve time blocks for ourselves and getting the undisturbed work toward our goals. So, congratulations for you and me. There are many successful people and stories who identify as introverts, such as Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Barack Obama, J.K. Rowling, Mahatma Gandhi, Stephen Jobs, Emma Watson, and etc. A study by Adam Grant, a professor at the Warden School, find a mix of both introverted and extroverted leaders is beneficial for organizational success. Introverted individuals are often more thoughtful, reflective, and good listeners, and grant people more room for creativity, allowing people to make well-informed decisions think critically about complex problems, and build collaborative teams. Social situations. This is, I feel, one of the toughest part for us. But at the same time, luckily, we also have our own social advantages. For example, as we can think more, we tell a story better, where we can be the thoughtful speakers, be a good listener, and write ideas better. Another tip is, actual version is a personality. Well, good communication is a skill, are two different things. Personality is not something we can easily change, but we can work on developing our skills. Another thing very important and worth to mention is to learn and explore our social boundaries and especially discover what drains out our energy a lot. It is from my personal experience, I find it very important to know what are the things that can lead to unnoticeable burnout and some overly sensitivities. Knowing those is very essential to keep a healthy social life. For example, for me, I'm totally fine with the communication with aims, some types of networking events, but not all. If I have room of practice, I'm fine with some public speaking and presentations. But at the same time, like small talk and debates are kind of like a trigger for me to drain out my energy very fast. There is no absolute right or wrong. I mean, find our comfort zone and growth zone and don't expose ourselves too much into the panic zone. I don't hate people. I enjoy the energy around people, like in a co-working place and coffee shop. 
I also enjoy the deep interaction with people. It can be friends, can be relatives, reading books and listening to podcasts. At the same time, I think it's also important. We must live in a society. So find the best way to interact with the world. It could be your talking, your writing, your podcasting, your videos, your words, or your art in many forms. But find a way to interact with the world. As an introverted person, I feel better when the technology getting more and more advanced. Let me know if you have the same thoughts. It's easier to connect with others throughout technology. For example, I think emails and social media are good. And also during work, the project management software really helped me. So I don't need to talk so much, but rather to put it in a table in a project that everybody can see it using the techniques or like video conferencing, email, instant text softwares. Those are the ways to make our communications better. We can definitely make good use of these tools to create healthy relationship and collaborate with others. All in all, being an introvert doesn't hold us back at all in achieving goals, being ambitious, being passionate and enjoy life. Introverts is a personality. It's not a weakness. Play into our strengths. Find the ways to better interact with the world. Explore our limitations and find the ways to recharge our energy. Let's pursue our ambitions authentically and fulfillingly. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, feel free to like and subscribe and comment down below so that I can make more of the similar content. Thank you so much for listening. I will see you again soon.